This is not your ordinary Caliburn. Welcome back guys and in this video I'm going to be showing you this insane contraption built by Spenceworks. So to start off, this is not your ordinary Caliburn. This is actually a HBA slash LPA Caliburn. So it pretty much is just the shell of a Caliburn with HPA slash LPA internals and we'll get to that in a second. So we'll start from the front of the blaster and work our way back as usual and showing you everything that he's done to it. So to start off at the front, he's got his scar barrel. He actually sells these, so if you want to pick one up, hit him up on Instagram or on his Facebook page. They'll actually be in the description if you want to go check out his work. So that's his scar barrel. And then coming back here to the obvious part, on a normal Caliburn, these things would be silver, but he has actually used carbon fiber rod. And if you don't believe me, get a little bit closer. That is actual carbon fiber rod and it looks absolutely sick. It gives such a cool aesthetic to the blaster. It's very unique, which he's all about. It's so cool. It's such a nice touch. He's actually using carbon fiber for the barrel material as well. I think it's got the same tolerances as 16 millimeter conduit and aluminium. Then on the bottom here, he's got this angled foregrip, so it's nice and comfortable to reload and prime. Moving back, he's got the same bolts and the same priming bars as a normal Caliburn, just the carbon fiber is different. Moving back now, we've got the brass breech. Instead of the usual Stefan pusher or normal dart pusher as the Caliburn uses, he's actually using a brass breech. So, prime back, I can show you in here. There's the brass, slide forward, seals the breech as any standard breech works. And he's just using 17 30 seconds with 9 16 around the outside of it. And then the 17 30 seconds goes inside the carbon fiber barrel material. Coming back, he's got the same handle and everything like that. The same quick release like the usual Caliburn. Everything good and swell down here. The magwell is a little bit tight. He did actually print all the 3D print you see on this blaster. So he has definitely built this blaster from the ground up from scratch, like completely built it. It's an absolute testament to what he can do. It's insane and it is so, so cool. Then we've got the standard trigger, standard handle, everything like that. Uh, I really like the Caliburn shell. It's quite nice. Pretty comfortable, it's very skeletal, which I like. It's very like bare bones, which is pretty cool. Nice and light too, due to the 3D print and the lightweight carbon fiber rod. He's actually used carbon fiber for the trigger as well as the thumb hole stock connection back here as well. And then moving back here, this is actually the same setup as I have in my long strike. So this blaster here has the same setup as this blaster here. So I um, can pretty much now show you how HBA slash LPA blasters work. Now, this is very bare bones and not very technical, but um, to give you a better understanding on how this stuff works, here I go. So as you can see here, this is the XBZ tank. This is what stores your air and then releases it. Moving back, he's got this right angle piece which goes to this switch here. This is the MBJ-03, which I was talking about in the last video. So pretty much what this does is extends the XBZ back to here and acts as the release. So if you've ever seen an XBZ's guts, you'll see that little black push. That's pretty much what that is and it just extends it. So he's got that coming off the XBZ into the switch and then from the switch through the cord and then into the compressor system and that is as simple as it gets. It is ridiculous the amount of range and power you can get out of these things for how simple it really is. It's incredible. And that's pretty much it. He's done it all in the yellow 3D print filament. He's filled in the Caliburn logo just to give it some black throughout the blaster. I really do like this thing. It is a complete scratch build, which I absolutely love. It's insane. Hits harder than a normal Caliburn, can fast fire than a normal Caliburn, and is easier to use than a normal Caliburn. It's pretty much a big troll as well. Like the Caliburn was designed to have a big plunger tube in here and use springs but it's pretty much a big middle finger to the Caliburn just going, hey, let's slap an air tank in there, <laughs> which I love, it's so cool. 
So now let's take this thing outside, show you some firing. So as usual guys, we'll do a little accuracy test from about 10 meters away. That is my dart box that I store my darts in. So we're gonna see how many out of these 18 darts will hit that dart box. So let's go. There we go. And that's 18 down, so I'll count how many actually hit, but that's pretty good groupings if I do say myself. This is one beast of a blaster, not even a Caliburn <laughs> at all, is it? So as you've seen guys, this thing is an absolute powerhouse. You can pretty much spam the trigger as hard as you want, as long as the compressor can keep up with you. While you're still priming the blaster, obviously. But hats off to Spence Works for putting this one together. It's an absolute beast. It's definitely gonna serve him well in the tournament as well. And I can't wait to see it out on the field. And hopefully I can get some gameplay footage with this one as well for you. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like my content and want to see more, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. If you want to catch up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Facebook and Instagram links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.